in this Webflow tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a very simple mobile navigation menu by using Webflow's native drop-down tool. Before we go ahead, what we have to do first is make sure that we're in the horizontal version of a mobile website. So all we got to do is make sure this area is selected. Now, if we notice on the navigator, we have three containers and each container has a segment. So this is a container that is a header, container header, and so on. One thing to note is when you, when I click on the container, I have to make sure that under the settings tab, under ID, I make sure I identify each segment. That is important for later in the video. I'm just assuming that you have your mobile website already set. The only thing missing is a navigator. So with this setup already, what I'm going to do is click on body and I'm going to add a drop down. Okay. And what I'm going to do is make sure the drop down is all the way here. With the drop down selected, what I'm going to do is go to width, set it to 100%. I'm going to fan out and I'm going to select the drop down toggle and I'm going to set the width to 100%. Go ahead and click on the drop down and we're going to set the position to sticky and set the top to zero pixels. Then we're going to scroll down to background, set it to white. Now click on the drop down list and go to settings. For drop down settings, click on show. Perfect. Now the drop down is going to feature some links to use. So drop down links are all set. And depending on how many things you have set on your page or pages, you could just simply copy and paste, copy and paste and keep changing it. But for this video, I just need three. So I'm going to click on a drop down link right here. And what I'm going to do for link settings is click on page section. And I'm going to select one. I'm going to repeat the process for the next two links. Now, in terms of changing the text, you just simply go ahead and segment one. two and three. All right, that's all set. Go ahead and make sure you click on drop down list and make sure the drop down settings are set to hide. That way when you test out the website, you're not going to see the drop down until you trigger it yourself. Now, again, we're going to click on the container because that's what I'm using. And the container has the ID of one. And if you notice, you saw one, two, and three. Let's go ahead and test out the uh, drop down. So let's assume this is a mobile site and I need to navigate. So I'm going to go to segment three, segment two, segment one. And again, it's important to work with the horizontal version of your mobile website before you get to the vertical, because whatever you do to the horizontal, it'll translate to the vertical. And that is a very simple way to make a mobile navigator using the drop down tool.